In this video tutorial, I'm gonna go over a relatively easy way on how to improvise over the jazz standard I'll Remember April using six scales. So those scales happen to be major scales, which is good because most of us know our major scales by a heart. Now, if you don't, you probably wanna get cracking on that and start memorizing all 12 major scales because that's going to make your improvising life a whole lot easier from here on out. But if you don't, that's okay because I have a color-coded PDF here that I want you to download at jefflewistrumpet.com and you'll also find it in the description below. So the first chord is an A major 7 chord. Now I am talking trumpet player key, which is B flat not concert pitch. So this tune is usually played in the key of G major, but of course it could be in a lot of different keys. And we are going to be playing in the key of A major. Now the first chord, once again, is A major 7, and the next chord is A6. Now these both can be navigated by using the A major scale. Not that jazz and jazz improvisation is all about scales, but it is a great way if you know your chord and scale theory to get started improvising right away, particularly if you know your major scales. So what I've done here is I've color coded each tonal center or key center with a different color. A major is going to be in blue. The next four chord changes are in A minor. Even though it's A minor seven to A minor six, they both can be played using the A Dorian scale. The Dorian minor scale is the second mode of the major scale. So A minor, Dorian, is coming from the G major scale. So in essence, we're playing a G major scale, but starting on A. So we're going to go A to A, no sharp, uh, excuse me, with one sharp, F sharp, same as G major. And that's all in green. Now let's take a look at the next chord, B minor 7 flat 5 which also can be written this way, B half diminished seven. This is in red. Any half diminished or B minor seven flat five chord generally can be navigated by playing the major scale up a half step. So it's the seventh mode of the C major scale. So let's take a look. C, D, E, F, G, A, B is the seventh note of a C major scale. If you start on B and play B to B with no flats and no sharps, you get the B Locrian mode of the C major scale or the seventh mode of the C major scale. Continuing on, we've got E7, E dominant seven. Now E7 happens to be the dominant chord of A major seven. So indeed it is the five of A, if you count up A, B, C sharp, D, E, E seven is the five. Any dominant chord that's not in the key of the song is called a secondary dominant. And we're gonna see that in two measures. But let's look at the next chord. I've got it kind of in a gray area here, literally. C sharp minor seven flat five, which can also be C sharp half diminished seven. Now remember with half diminished chords, you can play the major scale up a half step. C sharp minor seven flat five up a half step, D major. So it's a D major scale starting on C sharp. I love to use modes because that way I don't have to think of sharp this, flat that, and, and it's for me it's too many steps rather than just thinking, oh, it's just a major scale up a half step. Now the next chord is a secondary dominant, and that's F sharp seven, F sharp dominant seven. So F sharp is a five chord, it's coming from F sharp down five steps or up four steps, you get to B. So F sharp seven can be played as a B major scale starting on F sharp, or what we call the mixolydian, or the fifth mode of the major scale. Now we get into the blue area again, which as we know, is in the key of A, and we've got a two, five, one chord progression in the key of A. Now, 
Two five one major chord progressions can general can generally be all navigated in the one chord, which in this case is A major. So B minor in the key of A, E7, which is the dominant, we can play in the key of A, and then of course A major. Now we have another red area, and we've got a two, five, one, six in the key of C major. So D minor is Dorian minor in the key of C. G is a secondary dominant in the key of C. And C major is the one. Then it goes to A minor, but we're going to stay in the key of C. So we're going to play the sixth mode of the major scale or Aeolian mode. The next four measures are once again in a red area, 2-5-1 in the key of C. So that's right at the bridge. So the form of this song is A, B, A. Each section is 16 measures long. The next section is in the key of A major, once again in blue, 2, 5, 1 in A. Then at the very bottom, we're in a brand new key, which I designated in yellow. It's a 2, 5, 1 chord progression in the key of F sharp major. Then the very last chord is a 2, 5 going into the 1 back into the last A section, which is in blue. Once again, we're going to be in A. So the next thing you may want to do is look at each chord and see if you can play the appropriate scale that goes with that chord on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in eighth notes and play the seventh, the last note, as a quarter note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of me doing that over the bridge section over the D minor, G7, C major to A minor 7. The next thing you're going to want to try to do is to play the chord tones or the one, three, five, seven of each scale in quarter notes as it progresses through the changes in time. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this makes sense. And eventually it does get easier, but it is not easy at first, definitely, because you have all these different keys that we're navigating through and you have to change key as the chords progress. And I know it's a lot, but it definitely will get easier. Try it this way at first. Don't give up. Go very slow. You can use... Uh, play along the, like the iReal Pro or Band in the Box or even better, real live musicians. All right. Thanks you so much for listening and checking out this video. And I will catch you in the next video.